it's the week of a Munster final, so Shane. But talk to us first about the importance of the Munster Championship to Cork. Of course, we have the All Ireland campaign to come, and that's a big one. But how important is it for Cork to to be to be kings of their own patch? Yeah, look, I think I think it's very important. We never um took Munster titles for granted, even all those times when you know, when the girls are winning them, winning all those All Irelands, Kieran years ago. Um, the Munster title always meant something, you know, and it was always uh, I suppose uh. Well received, and when we we lost it, I remember losing it in two thousand fifteen when when with it, when Eamon was there, um, and we were very disappointed to lose it. You know, the girls were very disappointed. So, uh, it's always it's always mattered, and I suppose the fact this year that it was um around Robin as well, you know, gave us um you know three three very good games, and we got a lot out of it. And look, we are certainly looking forward to Sunday because um, you know, it's a chance I suppose to play against. Look, I I think they're the best team in the country at the moment. Um. And we you know we we got a draw against them the last day, you know, probably fortunate to get that. So I think it's it's it, and I suppose that that draw against them, uh, you know, uh, improved us. I think we were better against Waterford than the next day. So I think we're getting better by the game. But I do I do know like that we we'll have to make a huge improvement from where we did, uh, the first day in Parky Creek because you can't give a team like Kerry a ten point lead if they get ten points up on us on Sunday, they won't believe in that goal. And I think you know look I would say they they learned a lot from that game as well. Um, so look. Any 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 title, I you know that's a cliche. Well, any title of being important, but it has always been valued in Cork. And I know that from being there before, and I know that from speaking to the experienced players. And look, we have a lot of younger players in our squad as well, Kieran. Who who will this will be their first month of senior final? So there, it's going to be very very important to them. And I suppose to have that atmosphere and probably hopefully a good crowd in Mallow. And I think it's very very important. And we we certainly we're certainly going out to win it. And but we know we have to be a lot better than what we were. You touched on Kerry there, Shane. Obviously, that's Cork, Cork's opponents this weekend, and you just call them they're the best team in the country right now. Have you been surprised by their emergence over the last couple of seasons? Because they really have shut out of the pack. Got to the All Ireland final last year. Okay, it came up short, but they were impressive, winning Division One this year. So they really are a formidable team right now. Yeah, look, they are, and I suppose I haven't really been surprised. You know, uh, you know the talent has always been in Kerry, I suppose, and you know in previous years, um, and always even when. I was talking to a man today from Kerry and you know even when we played them in 2015 and we lost them like they beat us by 12 points in the Munster final in 15 you know we came back and beat them in the All-Ireland semi-final but there was nothing between them even when Cork were you know at the peak of their powers and I suppose in fairness to the two lads um, you know Declan and um, and Dara you know there's a consistency there as well you know they've been there just their fourth year with them and they've always had serious players like I work with some of those players and you see Kyle Lynch uh, Louise and Mark, they're class players and they've I've had good young players coming up as well. Maybe Kerry haven't been unbelievably successful at underage, but I suppose what they've done is brought through a few players each year, and they've built a very experienced squad. Um, you know they've got a lot of power and pace all over the team. And look, they were they absolutely dismantled Dublin Mead this year, just hammered Galway in the league final. Uh, you know, and I suppose to run up that lead against us was very very impressive as well. Look, they look they probably took their foot off the gas, and you know, and as I said, but. They've been hugely impressive and they've built on, I suppose, last year. It probably would have been seen outside of Kerry and outside of people who know what's going on in the game. It would have been probably a surprise if they got to the All Ireland final last year. You know, they weren't even favourites to win the Division 2 final when they played Armagh last year. It? But they've just kicked on. They've got great self belief, I think, from um, from winning uh, winning the, winning Division 2 last year, getting to the All Ireland final. And look, they were all out and, and did very well in the league this year. And, you know, they were very, they're very organised. They're very fit. They're, they've got great scoring forwards. They've got players at the back who can, you know, like like Sakaley Cronin, who can bomb up that field and create scores. And they just have been very, very impressive. And, you know, hats off to them. Um, you know, it'd be much easier if they, if they weren't going well for Sunday. But they, they have been. And, I, and I, I'm, not, I'm not blowing them up to say that they are the best team in the country. They're favourites for the All-Ireland, and rightly so. You mentioned there the, the recent meeting between Cork and Kerry in the round robin. So Kerry were 10 points up late on in that game, but Cork battled back impressively well to get a 2 14 a piece draw. What were the big lessons that Cork took from that game? Yeah, I suppose, look, uh, lots of things didn't function right for us that day. Our own kickouts, um, Kerry put a huge high press in them. Uh, something I suppose we've worked on very hard for the last few weeks. Um, I suppose we prided ourselves, even in the league game, we did very well in the Kerry kickout, but Kerry obviously learned from that. And we didn't do so well. And just, I think, their, I suppose, their, the pace that they play the game at, um, you know, I suppose our girls, you know, just, we, we had thought we were we were ready for it. We just weren't, we weren't right. And I suppose um, 
they were really up for it, I think. And I think we've we've learned a lot from it. Like, as I say, we I think we were way better against against Barton. We took a lot of learnings from it. Um, you know, and it took us being tough going as well, three weeks in a row. Um, to play, you know, like the the, the lads in the Hurling Championship stopped that, you know, a few years ago. They were had they, they, they had no three weeks in a row. So it is tough going, but I think look, we learned a lot out of it, but I think Kerry would have as well if they got themselves in a very good position against us. So look, we've got to be very we know we can't start the way we did um, against Kerry or give them that opportunity because they will punish you. And, I, and I'd be fairly sure if, if they got ahead this time that the world be shut, we wouldn't be getting back into it. So we, we know we'd be way better that way. Defensively, Cork were really strong against Waterford. He kept them to just four points in total, just one point from play. And you were talking to Jeremy McCarthy after the game and you mentioned about the tackle count. You were pretty happy with Cork's tackle count. Uh, that defensive solidity against this Kerry attack, that's going to be so key again this weekend. Yeah, look, I think we were we, we were wide open a lot of time um, against them um, in Parky Cueve, and they've got such class forwards; they're going to punish you. And I think, you know, I suppose that was something we we had in the whole pile of time to work on before the Waterford game. But you know, I suppose we maybe forsook forsake uh, a few other things and, and made sure we were more defensively solid against Waterford because Waterford look they they call us problems in the league as well. So look, we'd be very happy with that. But I would say. No disrespect to Waterford, the caliber of forwards that they carry have. Um, you know, we we still coughed up a lot of opportunities to Waterford. If we cough up those opportunities to carry, I think they'll be taken. So, you know, there's still things to work on. But look, we've had the two weeks. Uh, you know, we were able to do a little bit more work on it. So I'm hoping like that if we like we know that if we can see two fourteen on, on on Sunday or anywhere around that, or we like we can see the one fourteen against Tipperary, we know that we probably won't win the most title. So that's something we're really working on. And I suppose, look, as I said to Joe that day about the tackle count, I think that's coming from all over the field. And look, at, you see it in every game now, look, even the, look, the Mayo and Kerry men's game at the weekend, like the tackles, blocks and steals. Like Mayo were 24 up on Kerry on that, and Mayo won the match. And, you know, that's what it boils down to, even though, you know, you're, you're looking at the class players Kerry have in the, in, in the men's team. So that's in every game now, the, you know, the hooks, tackles and blocks and hurling, and the hooks, tackles, steals and steals in football. Like, it, it's the nitty gritty stuff. And I think, you know, we have to be way better at that. We've got talented players in Cork, we know that. So, look, that's something we're pushing the girls with all the time. Panel wise, how are things looking at the moment? I see Laura Fitzgerald came off the bench against Waterford and got one two in her comeback. So, it's great to have had those options available to you now, Shane. Yeah, look, it is. And I suppose the week before, or the Callahan came off the bench and scored one one, you know, and I think that's very, very important. And we're building a squad um, and we've got talented players. Look, Orla's only starting out in her, in her career. Fitzy, you know, that was actually her championship debut, even though she's one of the, you know, probably a more experienced player. She was in squads before, but injury cost her then last year. So, look, it's great to have those players. And other players are coming off the bench as well. Like, we've had different, we've used different, five different subs in, in, the, in, in all the games. We used 34 four players over the league. So, look, we've loads of players who are, you know, chomping at the bit to get in there. And I think they're realising, I suppose, as well. And I suppose it's it's a change of mentality for a lot of them. Because a lot of them are used to, probably, you know, playing all the time, especially the younger girls are coming up, coming in from the minor squad. You know, the last few years where they've been on the team, it's a it's a different mentality when you're in senior squad to realize that okay, it might be twenty minutes today. I think that's the important thing to change your mentality that I'm going to perform for my twenty minutes or my forty minutes or my fifty minutes or whatever it may be, and take their opportunity. And I think, in fairness, uh, the girls have been absolutely excellent. This, the impact off the bench against Kerry was brilliant. Um, you know, even against Tip, we needed a bit. Of, you know, it was a really warm day, first time we played in that kind of heat all year. And again, the bench, you know, livened up the whole place. And against Walford, again, look, Fitzy came on and got one two, but you know, other girls came on there the back, Laura Manny, uh, you know, Derek, Derek Nairi, Derek Kiley, you know, Mara Kellen as captain came on, you know, huge experience. I think that's the beauty of what the squad we have at the moment. We've we have a very strong bench. And look, look, Sunday will be no different. It's going to be twenty players. And I think the more players realise that 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 it's it is a twenty player game and that, you know, number thirty five in our panel is working as hard as as you know, number two in our panel because that's that's the way it has to be. And I think, um, you know, in fairness to the girls, that the impact off the bench has been asked for and when they're delivering. Finally, Shane, I just want to ask you, how much did the whole squad of management enjoy that game in Clannock Kilty recently? It was the first ever Munster Lady Senior Football Championship in West Cork. Clannock Kilty pulled out all the stops, I think over 1,200 there. And all, all reports back was just a really positive experience for the players, for fans, everyone enjoyed it. Was it was it just great for the, the players to be able to get that connection with the fans, to mingle with them after and so on? And hopefully some of those fans will go to Mellow this weekend and just keep supporting the team as well. Yeah, look, it was absolutely brilliant. You know, everybody involved in you know, all the West Cork uh, ladies crowd. Um, and like we're lucky, I suppose, we have Marion Forbes involved with us. 
from from Donnie's who did a lot of work behind the scenes, getting mini games at half time. And look, the the Clinic Lilty Ladies Club, you know, um, led by Yvonne Ryan and everybody in Clinic Lilty J, they were absolutely brilliant on the day as well. You know, their organisation beforehand was brilliant. So everything ran very smoothly on the day. And to see that crowd, and I suppose there was a huge buzz around the place, and it was brilliant to be running out onto the field and to hear that roar, like, because it's, look, it, it's often it doesn't happen, you know. You don't get that that, and then the buzz. I think everybody got a, a huge buzz that day. And afterwards, you saw the younger players mimicking the senior players doing their warm downs, and you know, and it was all these players flocking around our girls afterwards for autographs. I think it was a real kind of a you know carnival atmosphere. And look, we got a great result then as well. And then look, it, it's something we were very happy to do. You know, it's something I suppose we had planned on doing before, but it didn't work out um, for one reason or another. And and I'd certainly something, Kieran, we're going to look at again because, uh, look, West Cork has that has the football reputation, and there, there were you could see that there were uh, there was lots of people I you know believed at that match who hadn't got the latest football match before, but would be big football fans, and I think they would surely enjoyed it, and I think that's only bodes well for everybody. And look for the kids down in West Cork, you know, um, it was fantastic for them to be able to see their heroes, and you know, and I think that's 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 the big thing about it that these girls are their heroes, and it's not looking up to the their male counterparts all the time like like most of them have to do but and to have them accessible then as well look at our girls and parents and they're look they're great they're they've got great personalities um you know and they were more than happy to be you know signing autographs and doing things for the girls and things like that so look we were delighted with the whole experience and certainly something we're going to we look at doing again because it, it was a it, it worked out very well and look and I have to thank everybody again Kieran um, down in West Cork um, especially in Clannacilty kind of they were brilliant and really made us everyone feel so welcome and look I'm sure Waterford didn't enjoy the game but I'm sure they enjoyed the atmosphere and knowing the, the carnival atmosphere that was down there and fair play to everybody down there Fingers crossed it'll be another successful outing for the Cork ladies this weekend best, best of luck on Sunday Shane Thanks very much Kieran.